hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel if y'all thought i was gonna drop a video and leave for another three years I told you guys i was back <laughs> so by the title you could tell that today is a fragrance collection video i was gonna call it a fragrance haul but it's not a haul because i didn't just get these fragrances so i'm gonna show you guys what fragrances i have in my collection and if you want to know what i wear what i smell like on a daily just stay tuned so um let's do a bit of background i got into fragrances at around 11 because my mom is the queen of fragrances like i've never met another person with more fragrances than my mother and at the time i thought that was normal but now that i'm an adult and uh, i know how much these fragrances cost i know that's crazy so when she would go get my sister ready for school in the morning uh like in our room i would go into her room and just start spraying mad scents like trying to figure out which scent she was wearing and eventually i found it and it was called sexual i mean, i don't remember who was by it's not dior i thought it was a dior scent anyway um so i started wearing sexual to school and i don't think my mom found out because i would smell like her so she would think that she was smelling her perfume the whole time it's me wearing the perfume fast forward it's now two years later i'm 13 my mom comes home with a new fragrance another one that i like and i'm just like girl when she would go like make breakfast or like like occupy herself i would go in her room spraying mad scents giving myself a headache trying to figure out which one she was spraying and i found it it was called eternity now by calvin klein a fragrance i still wear to this day because i love it i really do like that fragrance so um some days passed by and um my mom buys me my first perfume i think i had a scent before that but it would be like you know those scents that come with the little bar soap and like it would be shit like that and i have eczema so i can't be using certain things like it was giving me rashes and stuff so i didn't use them uh, so she got me my first fragrance. It was Tommy Girl by Tommy Hilfiger, of course, and it was an okay scent. It just wasn't me. Um, eventually, I started my own collection. So the first fragrance I want to highlight is My Way by Giorgio Armani. And this... Everyone that I put onto this is never a miss. Like everyone, even if you're not a sweet scent person, because I told you it's not sweet, it's warm, it's comfortable. This is what my mom smelled like growing up. This is what she smelled like. I don't know what combinations she would mix to get this, but this is exactly what my mom smelled like when I was growing up. This is like a comfort space, a comfort scent for me. Like I love this scent. The next one after that it looks a little ghetto y'all because i don't have the cap on it it's in the car because i travel with this one a lot this is my second favorite i think it's libre libre by ysl yeah yep just don't mind the cap this is my favorite um this was recommended to me by tamira renee on youtube um if you ever see this video which you probably won't i have to let you know that there was a point in time in my life that i bought everything you recommended and because of that, I had to take a break from your channel because I just told y'all I'm in college, so my pockets was looking real bad. But this, yeah, this is like calm every, not every day, because I like to spray, um, I'm lying, this, this is my everyday, this and another perfume is my everyday scent, like this, um. I really, really like it. This mixed with like, okay, this, my way, it could be a mixture of that Calvin Klein, Eternity Now, and a little bit of sexual. This is what it's giving. So maybe this is why it reminds me of my mom. This one, it smells like sexual. I wish I can find that scent, but that was 10 years ago. So I'm not sure I'm going to ever find that again, ever again. Um, What's next? Let's go with this one dang i got hair all over the cap see i got this one 
it's um perfect by mark jacobs i got this one because for, look at the cap like even if it didn't smell like even if it wasn't if it wasn't giving what it needed to give like this is so cute on my dresser like this is the cutest don't mind my nails y'all but this is the cutest thing that i've yo ever smelled it's okay it's it's not something that I, it smells it reminds me of uh sunflower the scent sunflower again i don't know who that's by i'll put it in the screen somewhere if i remember but this definitely reminds me of the scent sunflower i might give it to my mom because i definitely stole sunflower from my mom growing up and she liked that one and i broke it by mistake of course uh, next, let's go over here. This is a very, very... The dust on it is ridiculous. This is a very, very old bottle. I took this bottle from my mom. Um, Yeah, so... Yeah, this is the only bottle that I have from my mom. And it is called... Lollipop... Ooh, Lollipop Bling Honey by my, Mariah Carey. And to me, this smells kind of like uh, the next scent that I'm about to show you guys. This is, it's cool. This is like summertime. I, I wear this in the summer. Some scents I wear in some seasons. Um, That's probably why some of my scents are still really full because I only wear this in the summertime. I only wear this in the summer. I will never put this on my body in the winter because I don't need to be smelling like fresh daisies in the middle of the snow you know it's like it's a method to my madness the next scent we're going with i don't know this is not one of my favorites i don't remember it smelling like that it smells a little better maybe maybe i didn't like how it messed with my natural scent when I wore it that day, but I just got this one for Christmas. It was a gift to me. And it's called Florida Bomb by Victor and Rolf. I really never heard of their brand before this scent. I probably, I don't even know, you know, what that brand sells or like what their products are besides scents, but this one is pretty okay. Like this is another everyday. Um, Last but not least, this is actually the fragrance that I was telling you guys kind of smells like this one. I really thought they were both by Marc Jacobs, but they're not. This one is called Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs. And this scent, I got this from my boyfriend. I got this from my boyfriend before he was my boyfriend uh, for Christmas in 2019. That's what I got that from so i have some other scents in my collection that i have actually not opened yet i'm not sure why i haven't opened them honestly they've been in my storage unit for a while actually these scents have been in my storage unit because i'm in the process i'm in the temporary living space right now and i want to move so bad so half my things are here and half my things are in the storage unit so i went and i fished these out just for you so that I can show you all these scents I've smelled either um, by recommendation of my mom recommendation me stealing her scents and or I smelled them in the store well, my favorite from this side is definitely live irresistible uh, that's my favorite my second favorite I don't know maybe I haven't opened these scents yet because I like I like how they smell but it's like it's not like these behind me it's like it's okay but I guess I have to start using them so I can go get more so this one is a Carolina Herrera my mom swears by Carolina Herrera uh I this one I won't say I like it. I won't say I love it. Okay. I don't dislike it. If I disliked it, I would have given it away by now. I gave I give um my fragrances to my little sister. So if I didn't like it, I I would not have it still. Um it's Valentino. I know y'all seen it all over 
I know y'all seen it all over social media um, during the holidays. It's not worth the hype. It's not worth the hype. In my opinion, I don't know. And like, no shade to Valentino. I, it's just not my type of scent. Next, we'll go Prada Candy. Another one that was in the limelight for the holidays. So I have Prada Candy the daytime. And I have Prada Candy the night. I smell them both. I prefer the day. People say they smell alike. I, I don't get that. It does not smell alike whatsoever. I prefer the day. I'm lying. I prefer the night. I prefer the night. Um, over the day. That, no, what? I prefer the night. It's the night. Yeah, okay. I prefer the night. I just haven't opened them yet because... I don't know, I'm ready to move out of this space and like um design my new room. In my new bedroom, I want to have like a fragrance wall where like I have ledges stick out and my fragrances just lay on the wall. But then again, I'm scared because imagine like an earthquake or something happens and all my fragrances fall. I'm gonna cry. But haven't I shown you guys? Oh, we're down to our last two black opium. Mm. it's an acquired scent um for me um when i first when i first smelled it i didn't like it at all i'm not gonna hold you i didn't like it but like the more i smell it i had to smell it on someone else for me i like it i don't know if that makes sense it probably doesn't i don't care but i like smelling it on another person more than i like smelling it on myself so that's probably why i haven't opened it like a lot of these it's like i have to get into the vibe of like these scents and I'm not in that vibe yet this last one was such an impulsive buy um i went to miami for carnival and me and my friends were in the perfume store and i was like i don't know what scent i want usually i go into the perfume store i know exactly what i want i was like i don't know what scent um feeling and she was like, I think you'd like this one. Actually, I don't remember how it smells, and I think I want to open it. Because, like, I've never heard of this scent. I never I never do that. Like, I either hear of the scent first, or, like, someone recommends it or something. But, like, I, I never just... I either smell a scent on someone first or like it's highly recommended or my mom then I go buy it I literally never just go into a store and blind buy a fragrance of course I smelled it in the store but by the time I smell all those scents everything smells the same they didn't even have coffee beans so I can like cleanse my nose palette so by the time I got um how much did I pay for this? This bottle is so small. Big ass box for this small old bottle. How much? I mean, I my fragrances are kind of expensive, but like it's fragrances I like, so I don't mind paying for things I like. Why would I? Damn. I hope I like this. Cause what the fuck? I mean, I don't mean to curse. Yo, I'm mad. This smells like something you can get out of Bath and Body Works. Not knocking Bath and Body Works. Of course, I love using Bath and Body Works for like school or work. Uh, but the the money I pay for that, like I did. This smells like. Peach Freeze from Bath and Body Works. Damn, I'm kind of mad. I guess. But anyway, that was the end of the video. Um, I hope you like it. I hope you go out and try some of these scents. Um, a lot of people ask me what scent I'm wearing, so now I can just refer them to this video. I'm wearing one of these. Um, a lot of people ask me, like, how do they find their scent? 
I told you I got my scent taste from my mom. Maybe you have a friend that wears a perfume that you like to smell often or you just go into the perfume store and just start sniffing. I don't know. So I definitely forgot to mention this fragrance even though it was sitting behind me like the entire time. But it's from Jimmy Choo and I have no idea how to pronounce it. Thank you for watching my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.